Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I'm excited to share with you today's Angel Gram. Today's Angel Gram is entitled, Love Goes the Distance, and it centers around 1 John 4, 19. Good morning, sunshine. This is another day you have to praise the Lord and to shout to the heavens about how great the Lord is and how wonderful his name is. Go ahead, get going. God is waiting to hear you call out his name and to praise him for who he is. I dare you, just say praise the Lord right now. Praise the Lord! Today, remember that you are on a first name basis with the God of the universe. You're no stranger to him. He knows you and he loves you. 1 John 4, 19 says that we love him because he first loved us. This verse has always been amazing to me. It's never, ever made me wonder how I could love him. I couldn't start now and exhaust all the reasons why I love the Lord if I started now and continued to the day I died and I lived another hundred years. But I could stop very quickly trying to figure out a reason why Jesus would love me. I know me. But you know what? He knows me. And in spite of that, he loves me. Think about that. No matter how down you are or upset you are or stressed you might be, he already knows and he loves you. The verse says it all. How could you not love God who loved you so much that he gave his son to die in your place? How could you not worship God whose blood is so pure that it washes the world's sins away? How could you not praise God for all that he has done for you daily? How could you not fully devote your life to God, the one and only Savior of the world, who bore your sins on Calvary all because he loved you? He knew you had a sin debt that you could not pay. He knew the road would be rough and rugged, yet he carried your sins willingly. When the road got tough, he got tougher. He did not stop short of loving you and sacrificing for you. He, with his love, went the distance so that you might be made fit to live with him forever. His love and mercy did not stop at Calvary. He continues to bathe you and surround you in it daily. His love went the distance and his love still goes the distance. Our angel to angel chat. There's power in his love. The power is ours through him. Because of his tremendous love, we can love others too. Just as his love towards us never fails, our love through him and shown to others will never fail. He is carrying us and he is just a prayer away. This makes us strong. The same God that spoke the world into existence. The same God that tells the wave when to stop. The same God that calms the stormy seas. He lives in me. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. And our key thought, true love will always go the distance. Our kind and most gracious dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would teach us to love as you would have us to love. Lord, I pray that you would open our heart and our minds and that you would continue to allow us to see the amazing love and the amazing way that you bless us and the amazing way that you care for us and the amazing way that we can love others because you have loved us. I pray that you would teach us to love because we are told to love, that we love unselfishly and that we love pure and that we love unconditionally. But Lord, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your unconditional, powerful, amazing love. Lord, I love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.